welcome back to another video so today we're going to be doing a flexigel we are using hot cocoa and we are using those colors from premier gel first off i am going i've already filed the shine off my tips and i'm just showing you here that i am prepping the nails as you would your natural nails and that was just to dehydrate them and re remove any oils that are in your nails now I am just using a base coat so that I can apply my FlexiGel to once cured. Now I thought I'd do a short set because you know a lot of the girls in the group don't always like to have long nails so I just thought that I'll show you a quick and easy short set. The brush I'm using today is the brush I always use for my FlexiGel and that is from Essential Nails. Unfortunately, they are not able to get any back in stock at this moment in time um, because they are having issues um, getting them. So you may not get one. I am going to be looking at some alternatives and try them out before I um, push them on to you guys. Anyway, so as you saw, I'm just there, I'm just tidying it up and making sure that that's all nice and neat and tucked in at the sides, checking my thickness. And again, I'm just, to be honest, I'm just literally doing exactly the same thing on all the nails. So I think I'll just let you watch. Um, what you may have seen me do, I don't know if I've done it on the first nail, but normally when I don't have a big enough bead and I have to add a piece, um, normally I would cure that nail first and then add it after this time for some reason don't ask me why I didn't and I just went straight on um, but I do suggest that you cure it first and then apply the extra bit that you need on top and do it that way um, because if you don't then sometimes you can have like a almost like a shadow um, on there if it's not blended in correctly I think you actually do exactly the same on this pinky if I remember rightly. Um, I was a little bit shyer of the it fitting on the whole nail so I did, I added a piece where I should have cured it first but for some reason I didn't so I put it straight onto that wet sticky stuff and I could see like, um, like a shadowing on there when I applied it so because I didn't blend it in very well so yeah if you're going to add a piece to it cure your first lot first and there we go look they're just simple so I'm just going to cure them and then we're just going to do some squiggly lines on them and that is really it um, I do show you filing the side walls and the free edge. Um, I think I do show you me going around the cuticles with the e-file on one of the nails. But I think most of it I think I may have done off camera. 
here I'm just showing you how easy it is just to to do it with a file a hand file you know you don't need to use the e-file at all because flexigel does file like butter um, yeah so e-file really is not really needed um, but if you do use an e-file I would say you use the sanding band um, as you can see here I'm using it to go around the side walls and around that cuticle area I don't want to really do too much on there because they are fairly thin anyway so I'm just making sure that there's no bumps but all of these can be done using a hand file you, know, you do not need to use an e-file I just used it because um, I've got arthritis in my hands and filing for me gets really achy so it's just there for me because yeah, to help me out but you know it really isn't needed they were annoying me because they kept popping out. And I'm just making sure that I'm even all the way through. Always look at your nails from all angles. As you can see, I'm just buffing over them. That's just going to get rid of any harsh scratch marks from your filing. Give them a good clean. And then we are ready for design. Just cleaning my hand over and I also clean underneath. Because the last thing we want to do is do nails, polish, <coughs> gel nail polish and have dust. So I've just cleaned and wiped away so that it's all dust free. So I'm just taking some of these colours, just a, a, a blob of each. Then I'm going to use my striping brush. And I'm just going to create some swirls. And that's pretty it. Pretty much it. Get me words out. <coughs> Monday morning. <coughs> Got a frog in my throat as well. When I was applying it, it's like, oh yeah, these are looking good. Did, did I didn't realise how unsteady my hand was and how shaky it was until after I took the photos and I looked and was like, oh my god. And I wasn't really sure whether I liked these colours on the nail. So yeah. But it just gives you an idea of a little quick design. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to take the time to say thank you for watching my videos, commenting, liking. Um, I really do appreciate every single one of you. Um, if you haven't already, I would absolutely love it if you would um, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell to so it will let you know when I've um, loaded. Also, come and follow me on um, Instagram and um, TikTok if you have TikTok as well. And I will follow you back. So, yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm just going to. Oh, I think that was my daughter's finger then. I'm just going to continue with the design. Then I'm going to put a base coat on. And then I'm going to buff over. Just because obviously when you apply gel polish, you can be a bit lumpy bumpy. So I will apply base coat over the top of the design. Then I will buff over that design. And then I'll top coat. And yeah, that's it. Cheers, guys. Bye.